Ford F-150 Lightning and other electric vehicles hitting the market could be game changers for homeowners. Welcome back. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Newer electric vehicles have enough battery power to back up your home for days during a power outage. As CBSA's David Godfordson reports, they could also help run your home off the grid. What if the next time the power went out, your pickup truck could electrify your home? Maybe you've seen the TV commercial for the Ford F-150 Lightning claiming it can power an average home for three days. When the power went out last year in Texas, Randy Jones used his F-150 hybrid to power his home by plugging in extension cords to the tailgate power outlets and running them inside to his appliances. Experts say it won't be long until no extension cords are needed, thanks to bi-directional charging. And what that bi-directionality allows is you can flow the power out of the vehicle into the house or from the house into the vehicle. Utility expert Bill Powers uses solar and battery backup to power his home in San Diego. He says the newer electric vehicles have five or six times more battery power than a typical Tesla Powerwall. It is an absolute game changer. These are standard features of new EVs going forward. The F-150 Lightning, for example, can sense when there's a power outage and automatically feed power back into the home through the charging port. The question is, could owning an electric vehicle allow homeowners with rooftop solar to go off the grid entirely? The electric vehicle with bidirectional charging capability by itself is a great emergency power source, but you wouldn't run a home off grid with that as your sole source of battery capability. Power says presumably you will be driving your electric vehicle to work, so you would still want to have battery backup on your house. Then, even if the power went out for several days, you could still drive to a public charging station and rejuice the electric vehicle. Just cruise down to the supercharger, get yourself a latte, sit in the car for 15 minutes and go home, and you're good to go. Now, currently, there are pilot programs underway with the big utilities whereby so-called smart electric vehicles that can communicate with the electrical grid could possibly provide battery power back to the grid. Those are pilot programs underway. Our expert who we spoke to said he doubts that the electric vehicle owners would want to sell their battery power back to the grid unless the incentives were really, really high. David, a lot of options that these electric vehicles are bringing, a lot of talk about what could be. Solar power, we know, is expensive to get those on your roof. Electric vehicles, also expensive. What are we talking about for uh, the vehicles? Those F-150 Lightnings start at $40,000. They go all the way up to $90,000. Then you have the cost of rooftop solar, battery backup. But on the other hand, you have to consider what are you paying SDG&E every month, and uh, what are you paying in gasoline every month? So it could be worth it to switch over. Yeah, a lot of uh, equations that people have to figure out. There's also the old good old-fashioned generators that people can use, but definitely opens up a lot of different options. Thanks so much, David. Appreciate it.